<laughs> I don't know if you guys just heard that. Uh, I think there's a hog outside. Anyways, welcome back. I slept till very early in the morning and somebody's... I thought this was the end. I thought this was fair game. Turns out that might not be the case, okay? The problem here is that now we're trespassing, it's, it seems. And unless everybody's asleep... Okay, hopefully everybody's asleep. I'm not trespassing down here. But everywhere else was a bit of a problem. So, great news. We made it out. Now, we've got training to do, as far as I understand. Uh, he's usually there from mid-morning until evening, so he might not be there just yet. But that's not the end of the world. We'll, uh, we'll head out there, and then uh, we'll come back and go through the town for any additional things that people might need. The last thing that people needed was, well, they needed us to fight them. And, I mean, I did do that. Because... I thought that's what they wanted. Problem is, uh, <laughs> we took all their money and then got caught by guards who we subsequently paid off. But we're still, you know, all things considered, pretty rich. I'm carrying uh, a bit too many, a bit too many items, I think. Can we? Oh, okay. We're, we're not bleeding anymore from the fights. What can I, what can I just, what can I ditch that I don't totally need here? Do I need this spade? Watch me, watch me drop this spade and it turns out to be something that I need, right? We have the bludgeon, but that's kind of like our only weapon. These slippers, I think we can drop. And the dog skin, we have a bunch of these, jeez. What is wrong with us, honestly? What is wrong with us, honestly? Uh, the green shirt, goodbye. Oh, also, I have a bunch of perks, I think. So, let's maybe think about how we want to do that. So, if we go into, or is it, no, not skills, not combat, is it just in stats? Main level, show more. Here we go. So we could do a couple of these things. Minimum level four. Penalties on stats following release from jail are 20% lower. That might come in handy. Increases the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. I like that. You grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted. We saw that already. Okay, I think we grab uh, Insomniac here. I think Insomniac is pretty good. So our overall level is four. Our next point is going to be at six. But other than that, we don't um, we don't need to get into much else. I don't think. Oh, I'm totally wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa! We've got perks within specific uh, attributes as well. So grave digger won't cost you any stamina if you carry a dead body. Blocking an opponent's blows will cost you 30% less stamina. That probably seems good. That feels like it's good. And I have two points of these I think I can use. Cl clinch Master gives you one third higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. And then Mule... Oh, I know me. I need that. And... I like this one, because eventually when we start fighting, I think that's going to be important. Okay, so then... Agility, we don't have anything. Fine. Vitality, Marathon Man, uh, you run slower but keep it up for longer. Your sprint speed is 20% slower but demands 20% less stamina. Can't be combined with Sprinter. 20% faster but uses more mana. Or mana, stamina. And Thick-Blooded, you bleed slower. I think running for longer is better. And this is Vitality, you know what that means. And then Speech, okay, final offer. When a trader loses patience during... Uh, with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make another offer. That's not bad. Highborn increases your speech level by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have the lowborn perk simultaneously. Your speech stat will rise by three when speaking to commoners. Ooh, interesting. I think we take the highborn so we can talk to those stubborn guys more, more frequently. Right? I think so. All right, 
Okay, good. Now in here, oh, we have, okay. So this is actually, I did not know this. Now I'm learning this. I, some of you guys have probably been suggesting this, but um, it's not like it's been super important anyways. We've been pretty like one track mind for the time being. So warfare, we gained a perk point as well. We can do, uh, you have a greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood or rusty edge. The more damage your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning your opponent when you hit him, even without poison applied to your weapon. If you do have a poison on a damaged weapon, the chances of administering it are increased by half. I think we're going to go blood letter. I don't think it's a great idea to run around with, like, broken little things, you know? Okay, that's pretty much it, though. I think. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I know there's a lot of um, codex entries and stuff, too, that we'll, we'll eventually get into some of the more interesting ones. Um, but for, like, all of the... We've passed a ton, and I, I know that there's going to help to fill out some of what's happening in this world, and we'll definitely get into that at some point. This is, like, actually really peaceful right now. I imagine I can wait for this guy wherever this takes us. Oh, look at this. is the ring. The combat arena. Oh, yeah. Look at this facility. This is beautiful. All right. Mid-morning, you don't say. Let's do... Uh... <laughs> I guess we could have just slept. But now we're it's good because we're going to look like the eager beaver, right? He's we're, he's going to be so proud that we're here and that we want his training. That we got here early. Nine hours early, but still. I think he's going to be impressed. Captain Bernard. My respects to you. Sensei. Can I ask? Ooh. Okay, he might have some interesting uh, thoughts. What kind of a lord is Sir Hamish? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. Okay. You know what? This is a subtle thing, but I like that the responses are like to the point generally. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king. Probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young lord spends most of his time making <laughs> merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. I think that's What's what they like said about Jumata? Wenceslas. Till Sigismund came, and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move okay, back in Okay, I get it. I Thanks. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they I don't think we've heard him called Mongol, Kipchaks hungry yet. and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim, they've turned to Christ. Okay. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I like that you could tell what side of the fence he's on. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. <laughs> yeah. He's been talking to me the whole time. <laughs> What's... I'm not a boy. No, no, no. That's for me to decide. Finger shake. Right now, a boy is exactly what you seem. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Think you could just give me a sword, maybe? I think we know the basics, right? Let's see what right, he well. has to say about the basics. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating. If myself. it's like the combo stuff, then, you know. Ooh, knighthood, knighthood training. 
The physical training of a boy to become a knight began when he was seven years old. We're older than that, I hope. We had to know how to run, jump, climb well, and also be able to swim. He strengthened his arms by throwing hefty rocks. Over the years, boys had to become proficient in spear throwing, archery, unarmed wrestling, horsemanship, parrying with a shield, and attacking. Crazy. Um, the seven knightly skills, according to the classic tradition, were horse riding, swimming, archery fighting, sword and unarmed hunting, as well as playing chess and composing poetry. <laughs> okay. Similarly, uh, burghers practiced combat with different types of weapons which came into its own, especially in town defense. Uh, the towns, more than anywhere else, spawned sword fighting and archery fellowships, where sword play would be taught, sword play would be taught, initially according to the so-called German school, Deutsche Fetschule. Uh, later in the Renaissance, dominated by the Italian and Spanish schools. Shooting fellowships were devoted to archery with bows and crossbows, and the development of gunpowder, gunpowder firearms came into play. <laughs> Okay, there. Yeah, this is literally the exact same uh, right, good. training. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. It's the same no thing. waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. <laughs> it's like he's like cutting himself off. Nah, 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 nah. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. You got Bring it, your pal. Strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. So three? Chain strikes. Okay, so this is new. No, not really. You can change the attack zone or chain the strikes one after the other. Try to press what are left you or right. For? The win okay, fine. Well done. <sighs> that was a mega combo. That doesn't count apparently. Not bad. So this is exactly the same. Right. Teach now me the advanced stuff. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Ooh, this is actually new. Okay, hold, uh, hold it. You'll automatically parry your opponent's strikes with the cost of stamina. Uh, if you don't have enough stamina to deflect a foe's, foe's strike, you'll get hit while blocking your stamina. Okay, so I think I still have to. Uh, oh. Do I have to move in the direction? Well, That's what he was saying. See what but... you made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Oh boy. Okay, I don't think I hit him at all. New level in sword. Don't seem to be... Ow. Jesus. Like, I'm not even hitting him. Is that intentional? Yeah, he's good. Jesus. He's gonna kick the shit on us. I don't understand. Like, I'm not even hitting him. That's not fair. I don't know if that's intentional. Like hit, hit, hit. Fine enough. Okay, fine. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Yeah, okay, Let's that works right. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. My sword is low. Lunge. Let's okay. try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Try to attack. Okay, fine. Well, it'd be easier if. Oh, there you go. Right. Lesson two. 
Everything you've learned about blocking <laughs> is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. Okay. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack! Oh, it's God. Shooting. It's gonna destroy me. Yeah, see, I want that. That's what I want to be part of. Alright, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay, hit me. To fully defect, you need to time your blocking no, the enemy strike. Not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. <laughs> Kinda. Soon again. Press Q as soon as the attack starts, and you'll get an adrenaline boost. And a ch chance of a counter strike. Is that good? And catch the rhythm. You see the sword move. You move at the same time and deflect it. All right. Ow. Well done. Okay, I guess that was good. It's so weird. No, not like that. Ow. Okay, so well I have done. to react a little later <laughs> too early no, again that's so no, weird not like that. see I'm trying to like not like that. no again I don't know, dude. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, then. No, Press Q like as soon as the attack starts, you'll get an adrenaline boost with the chance to counter a strike. Ow. No, okay, I'm gonna try it, it just way later. Yeah, see, I gotta do it way later. All right. The little thing, like, comes up. There it is. Ow. Good. So it's not as soon as the attack starts. It's now. There you go. Uh, that's it. Right. Now we'll try it a little. You see the little faster. shield in the Concentrate middle. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Ah. Good. Seems like it still hurts me. <laughs> uh, that's it. Oh, too early. Screwed that up. Still blocked, no, but. Again. Am I not blocking that? Oh, there we go. It's a bit finicky. All right. But I guess that's the point. Very good. You got a cheap good, shot in there. Good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! What's up? Felt decent. Ow. Oh, those sick blocks, though. Nope. Someone's calling you. Wait a while, Henry. Have you enjoyed kicking the shit out of me today? Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Oh God, he's going to want to get in here. Not holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hands grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Righto, then. That was unnecessary. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. Oh yeah, that's not at all, but sure. Simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Yeah, I need to learn that move. That too. Let's go. And maybe that one. Alright, try it. 
It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Oh, it's Good. me. Okay. Oh, okay. Not bad. Same. It's all about when that shield pops up. You have the chance nice. to move. You Fine. have the chance to block. Try a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Weak. Nice. Oh, great in the eyes. I saw that coming. Not, I knew that was going to hurt. For today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Okay. Yeah. Not like that. Prepare the attack by holding it. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha. I didn't know you could do that. Very good. Yeah, that seems great. Yes. Very good. Nice. Okay, I gotta Very remember that. Good. Well, now that wasn't too bad. Maybe it will make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. No, nope. no, it Practice. won't. But you're right, we're talented, thanks. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. From now on, you can come to the arena anytime and challenge the master to a training duel. So that's a pretty good way to probably build up our fighting skills, right? Because it just happens by practicing it. That and like our swordsmanship and etc. etc. Where's the archery? I know that that Hans was going to check that out. So, uh... What do you guys do for fun around here? Oh, cool. That's, uh, that sounds... that sounds great. Do you like any, like, movies or TV shows? What's that? Oh. You don't know? Okay. We won't talk about that. What about these bridges? How are these... Look at these bridges, though. No? Alright. Let's just walk beside Be each other. More careful. Okay, let's... I'll, I'll walk back here, thanks. <laughs> Whoops. Never mind. I'm pretty sure range is in the moat of the upper <coughs> castle. Okay. Man, I feel bad for all these guys. And you know the the regular folk in this town just hate them too. I'm from Skeleton. And... Well, you know. That sucks. We're very lucky. We're very fortunate. All right, hit me. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. Fan braces. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Jeez. Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. Well, I'm new Not at this. Talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. 
Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. I'm trying to see if I can put As those things on. To draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Okay, well... Let me- it won't let me put the arm guard on. <laughs> okay, fine. Can we, like, breathe when we do this? Practice for a while. No nonsense. I'm hitting the target, but it's not, uh, that great. The sway is, like, ridiculous. What are you shooting at, idiot? Someone said. <gasps> Come on. Well, that was awful. Thanks. I didn't Jesus. imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. Thank you. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sevenar. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. In archery? Are you crazy? Very well. If you defeat me, oh, I'll God. give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. We're screwed. Let me put the things on, at least. I feel like that could change everything. Uh, is this armor? Yeah, van braces. No, this protects the forearm. Uh, wait. Is that the same thing? Comes in handy in archery. Okay, we already had those. Or maybe we did put them on. Uh... Pull out the bow, maybe. Pull out the bow. Come on. Come on. We hit the thing. Oh, he's hit a bunch. Faster. Not even close. Oh, that was sick. We got points, I think. Oh, hands. I've got a rhythm. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Get on up. Oh, that was really close, actually. I felt not so bad about that. That wasn't bad. Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, yeah. or do you need more reminding? I need more reminding. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. I gotta put this guy so in his what's place. It going to be? If blacksmith. I go broke doing it. If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. All right. Oh, now we're sword fighting. Whoa. All right. Bring it on! Oh, bet you didn't like that. Topper dealer. Oh, see that sick dodge though. Oh, I just poked him right in the eyes. Oh, oh, sword fighting's not your sport. Well, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. Damn it! I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Limitations. Thank you. So, Godspeed, blacksmith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again. Yeah, soon. but that wasn't even close. That wasn't even close. And I almost had you, by the way. Yeah, keep walking. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. We'll get over it. Yeah. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzik's protection. 
to be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. I'm not going to roll now, over for go him. go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right, fine. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I guess on the way back through here, we could see what this is. Is that, wait, is it on the upper? I'm actually not sh uh, Yeah, it might be. We actually, if I wouldn't have screwed up at the very beginning of the archery thing, I think we would have had him, honestly. Hey, what? All right, fine. Look how cool this is. Like, it's a pretty neat little place that they have here. There's a lot going on for this relatively small... I don't know, what do you call this, like, this area? It's not a village. Huntsman. I like your hat. God be with you, good sir. Some people can teach you. For lessons, you will have to know something already, though. There might be more than one trainer for each skill, but there are always four lessons for each skill. Any work for me here, by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, how's your hearing? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little <laughs> job going. But I need someone who knows the area well, and has good ears. I mean... Okay. I ought to be able to handle that. Fine. So here's the problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. Let me guess, They're you lost them. They're good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. What? what? The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. So, you need me to find them. Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Vranik. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Vranik. So why doesn't he right. just do that? A bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They okay. kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> oh boy. It went something like this. <laughs> what? People keep birds oh like that in their houses. God. It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Um, let's hear it again. Can you repeat that? Of course. <coughs> remember it now? <coughs> yes, I'll remember. Nailed it. Right, here are the traps. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. He ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that. Okay. Three bird cages. I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. Okay, so beginner, slightly advanced. Okay, so by level. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. How much? 60. Isn't that quite a lot? How about, like, 45? Sorry, but I'm not going to teach you for that price. Jeez, he's not into that at all. I'd like you to show me some hunt. Certainly. I'd like to... Pra all right. I can't even haggle now, or Isn't can I? quite a lot? Okay. Let's see if we can get him to 50. 
Since it's you. That's a poor offer. Dude. 55. Final Agreed. offer. Agreed. Now listen up. Stretching our pennies here. Oh, just like that. Oh, like, okay. Oh, so he's not actually... <laughs> okay. Okay. We're basically pay-to-win attributes. Got it. Oops. Okay, so he's back. The bailiff is back here. And where do we get that info again? The quest log. Finish my training now to make myself known to the bailiff. Okay, fine. Is this the guy that we fought? I'm going to avoid him because he might. I don't know if he's got like a great memory. This is like the hairdresser. Do I need to be going up here, maybe? Apothecary. Is this our guy? <laughs> 